This is 7A. All right. So for 7A, what I want to show you guys what to do is remember, we're just going to be graphing this. I'm going to kind of go through this quickly because we've gone a couple through a couple examples of graphing linear equations. When it's solved for y, it's in slope-intercept form, which you guys can remember from graphing equations was y equals mx plus b. All right. So I'm going to try to break this down in simplest terms we can. Remember, b is your y-intercept and m is your slope. So when I have an x and y axis, remember this is my y axis and this is my x axis. So my y intercept is where my graph crosses the y axis. So my y intercept is 2. Okay? So therefore I'm going to go up to 2 and make a nice little dot. Bless you. So I say that. Everybody should be able to do this. Just make sure it's in slope intercept form, and then all you do is you find your constant, the number at the end, your b, and just plot it on your y-axis. If it was negative, you'd go down. If it's positive, you go up. Okay? Now the next thing is we need to determine the slope. Remember the slope is the ratio of y over, I'm sorry, the ratio of your change in your y coordinates over the change in your x coordinates. So what we need to look at is say, okay, does our slope a ratio. And if it's not, if it's a whole number, put it over one so it's a, uh, a fraction. But we can say our ratio is three halves. So between any two points on the line, the change in the y coordinates is positive three. Okay? So since that's positive three, I'm going to go up three, up three units. Then the change in my x coordinates is positive two. So I'm going to go up three and then positive two is going to be two to the right. You can continue that pattern to make your line. Up three, one, two, three, over two. Okay? Also, re remember, you can also do negative and negative two. Because if you go down three and then to the left two, a negative divided by negative still gives you a positive slope. Okay? So just remember, you can go up and to the right if it's positive or down and to the left. Now, the next thing we need to do is determine is it a dashed or a solid line? So is our line going to be a part of our solution? Well, since it's less than and not less than or equal to, our line is not equal to our solution. So therefore, it's going to be a dashed line. Our line is not a part of our solution. So now we need to determine where do we shade? What points are part of our solution? Right? So we always like to pick 0, 0. And we don't want to pick 0, 0 when our graph goes through 0, 0. Right? And if it goes through 0, 0, just pick another point. Usually like to have x be 0, and then y can be whatever. So I just pick my test point. I have 0 is less than 3 halves times 0 plus 2. So I, have, I end up getting 0 is less than 2. Is that true or false? And that is true, right? So make a nice big T. And the reason why I want you to make a nice big T is because you guys need to understand that all the points below my line are true. Therefore, all the points above my line are false. Now, remember when we did a number line, where do we shade towards? The true or the false statement? The false. The true statement. So what that means is all points below my line are going to make my inequality true. All right? And that's it for 7A. There we go.